I've hunted down a lot of mini consoles in the past on my channel. The Super Nintendo Classic Edition, the NES Classic Edition, the Sega Mini, and also the PlayStation Mini. Today, I am going to try to track down a TurboGrafx-16 Mini. I'm going to share how I do that, my tips and tricks, and also my first impressions of the console. So let's check it out. First, let's take a look at Amazon USA. I pre-ordered my Turbo Mini the day pre-orders went live. Now you're going to see here that orders are not available until December 31st, 2020. This is because of COVID-19, the pandemic. It's pushed the North American release back. I'm also going to show off the box and I want you to compare this to the box and the Mini I received later in the video. If you want a Turbo Mini right now, here is how you do it. At the Amazon homepage, go all the way to the bottom of the page and change the country. Change it to Japan. You're also going to need to change the language to English unless you can read Japanese. You might have to change the language twice and there's also Google Translate. That's an option as well. Now you are going to have to make another Amazon account in order to order the Mini but it's just like setting up an Amazon account. It's a fairly easy process and very reliable. I will share my experience later in the video. Now here you're seeing the PC engine. This is not what you want to order unless you're trying to get some variants. I'm going to share the link in the description below to the correct TurboGrafx Mini that you want. That's going to be released in the United States. Guys, this is really easy, fairly easy to do. Just follow these steps and you're gonna be able to get a mini just like I did. Here is the order screen you'll see when you actually order from Amazon Japan. Now it's exactly the same as the US North American model, the exact same games. Everything is exactly the same that you would get in the United States. If you're itching to get your hands on one, the pandemic's got you down and you're searching for one, this is the route to go. Now you're going to have to pay just a little extra for shipping, but to me it's worth it. This is how it came from Japan. Now, thankfully, it was undamaged, unharmed. But man, it's still kind of crazy that it was shipped like this. I have shipped from Japan before, and I have never received a package in this kind of condition. This is how the Mini came packaged. A simple piece of cardboard and plastic. It still held up. I'm surprised because of the shipping box condition. 
I did fail to mention that I received my order in only three days. Here's the box. I was a little upset about this sticker, but it comes off pretty easy. I'll show you guys later. I'm also going to show you all the games included on the Turbo Mini. One thing I am pointing out, this is a Konami product. They bought out Hudson Soft years ago. The Turbo Mini has 25 TurboGrafx-16 games and 32 PC Engine games. Here is the complete list. Now I'm pretty happy with the game choices here, especially for the TurboGrafx-16, but there's one game in particular I am not happy about on the PC Engine. I'll share my thoughts on that later. Here's the unboxing itself. It's very tightly packed and it's pretty standard fare if you ever bought a mini before like the Sega Genesis Mini or the Super Nintendo Mini. Inside you get one controller which is a little upsetting because of the $100 price tag. You're also going to get an instruction manual which I don't plan on reading, a USB cable without the power brick, you also get a standard HDMI cable. And I hang on to everything that's included in the box, even the styrofoam packaging. Here is the TurboGrafx-16 Mini itself. This thing is so cool looking. You're going to see it out of its package here in a moment. And I absolutely love it. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. And it just looks so cool. It's going to look so cool with my mini collection. And there's also the Hue card slot. They did a really good job of recreating the TurboGrafx-16. There's the power button, and they even have the back plate. Here's the box without the sticker. I was pretty happy that it was able to come off easy. Here's a quick comparison of all my minis. Bubby actually has my Sega Genesis Mini right now. And as you can see, the TurboGrafx-16 is considerably bigger than the rest of the minis that I have. It's so cool to have them all together. Here they are side by side, the original TurboGrafx-16 and the Mini. Now I'm missing the backplate to my TurboGrafx-16, and I didn't grow up with the TurboGrafx-16 growing up. I was a Sega kid and a Super Nintendo kid, but I've grown to love the TurboGrafx-16 and I missed out big time as a kid. I wish I would have played this when I was younger. Here it is from a different angle and it just screams the 1990s. Here's a side-by-side -side of one of the original controllers from the TurboGrafx-16 and there are some slight differences and uh, honestly there's the hookup for the original system of course that's going to be a difference as USB for the mini and uh, there's some slight differences with the shape of the controller I'll show you guys here in a second but for the most part they were spot on the d-pad is right the buttons are right the turbo controls are right and it feels like a TurboGrafx-16 controller and you can actually use this with other mini consoles or so I'm told. I might do a little experiment someday and test out some other mini controllers on some other mini consoles. So yeah there's a little bit of difference in shape there. I will do a full review of the system and I'll share more thoughts on the controller at that time. Setup for the system is simple enough. Just plug the HDMI cable in and the power cord in. 
but I have a little complaint with that. The power cord, it was kind of hard for me to find where to plug it in. And it's kind of hidden. You got to look for it. I guess I should have read the instructions after all. I'm going to leave the back plate off just so I can have easy access to the HDMI cable and the power cord. This is my first time booting up the Turbo Mini. First off, you can choose English for your language. That's why buying off of Amazon Japan is not going to be an issue. This is the exact same version that will be released in the United States down the road. I'm not going to do a full review here. I will go in greater detail at a later time. These are just some first impressions. I am really blown away by the presentation here of the menu, the game select screen. I really, really love the game art and the music is just awesome. Take a listen for yourself. Just like other mini consoles, there's a lot of display settings. I usually go with the full screen mode. Now there's one really cool touch here, the Turbo Express. That was the handheld TurboGrafx-16 system. There's also some wallpapers you can choose from. There's another neat feature here, so if you switch over to the PC Engine games, you're going to have a choice of PC Engine or Core Graphics. That's a nice touch. Speaking of the PC Engine, when you switch over, you get this really radical effect. I love it. Now, there are 32 core graphics or PC Engine games. Now, my major complaint with these games or the inclusion of these games, they're not translated into English. And there's one game in particular that I really wanted to play that I was really excited about when I saw the list of games. That was Snatcher. Snatcher is a really difficult game to find and play. Yes, I own it on the Sega CD, but man, I really wanted to play this version. I wanted to live stream this. I wanted to review it. So I'm a little upset about it still, but it's a nice touch to have these games included. So I'm going to be playing Lords of Thunder just to show you guys a little bit of gameplay. I am actually going to do a complete overview of every single game on this little mini console. And Lords of Thunder is an awesome shoot em up. I had so much fun playing this. I did not want to put it down. I was actually really amazed by the graphics and the sound quality and the emulation was spot on. I had so much fun with this one. I've actually never played this game. Seen a lot of gameplay footage. I've seen a lot of people live stream and review this game. And yes, it is awesome. I love shoot 'em ups when you actually have a life bar and you can actually make it past the first five seconds of the game. I think you'll have a blast discovering games that you never played before. There's a lot of good quality games to play to experience that you might not have grown up with. And the TurboGrafx-16 library is a blast. I love the graphics, I love the sound, and it's just something to play and discover, especially if you were a Sega and Nintendo kid in the 90s. I'm gonna let you guys enjoy a little bit of footage of gameplay here. And I'm not that good at shooting ups, but man, this was a blast. Have you played Lords of Thunder before? Is it worth the price tag? And what are some other good shooting ups on the system? Let me know down in the comments below. I'm going to be playing a couple more games on the PC Engine. 
and I'm going to be playing Snatcher first. This was a huge disappointment because I love Snatcher. It's a very valuable, hard game to find. And I wanted to play this version in particular, like I said earlier. And I'm going to show you guys just my frustration with trying to play Snatcher and the language barrier. That's probably the biggest flaw with the TurboGrafx Mini. So let's just check out a little bit of gameplay here. ジャンカーに任命されてきたギリアンシートだがギリアンシートさんどうも失礼しました私はジャンカー本部のインフォメーション兼オペレーターをしていますミカスレイトンですよろしくミカスレイトンです。The last game I'm going to showcase is Castlevania Rondo of Blood. This is one of the prime reasons why you should get a TurboGrafx-16 Mini. The emulation is excellent here. The gameplay is excellent. I love the cutscenes, the graphics. The soundtrack is so good. And I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a sampling. And like I said earlier, I'm going to go deeper into every single game. Now a complete copy of Rondo Blood for the TurboGrafx-16 Super CD system is going for $175 complete. That's crazy insane. Now the price tag of the TurboGrafx Mini is $100. And of course you're going to be paying a little extra shipping cost if you're going to go through Japan. Is it worth it? Absolutely. Now you can play Rondo Blood. By other means, you can actually get it on the PlayStation Network, and there's actually a PSP port. But man, I love this version. The graphics are phenomenal. The sound is phenomenal. It is something to experience. Just some wrap-up thoughts on the TurboGrafx-16 Mini in general, and this whole experience with Amazon Japan. It was worth it, except for that shipping box, that poor shipping box. And trust me, you can get one, it's not going to be damaged, and it's going to come to your door fairly quickly. You don't have to wait till December to get a TurboGrafx-16 Mini. And you might have to pay just a little extra to get one. So if you are antsy, if you want one, do it through Amazon Japan. I highly recommend it. Like I said earlier, I left a link down in the description below if you want to purchase a TurboGrafx-16 from Amazon Japan. Is it worth the risk to you? You guys think I was crazy for going this route? Let me know down below. All right, guys, this was a pretty cool experience, a little bit different than going and waiting at Walmart at midnight for the release. What are your thoughts on the TurboGrafx-16? Is it worth the $100? Is it worth ordering off of Amazon Japan? Am I crazy for doing this? Let me know what you guys think of this console. Also, does it stack up with the Super Nintendo Classic Edition, the NES Classic Edition, or the Sega Genesis Mini? Guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe. You can also follow me on Facebook at RetroTony. Thanks for watching, guys, and have a great rest of your day. It's coming soon to a television.
location set near you, an incredibly advanced video game system. Are you ready for these amazing graphics and vibrant colors? Can you handle the speed and the power? How about the capacity for stereo sound and for five players? You decide before September, because it's coming. TurboGrafx-16, the higher energy video game system. Games sold separately.